Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we will be talking about um, giving a lot of tips and a lot of um, tips and tricks in endodontics. And I hope that it can serve you if you're a general dentist or a student or um, even a endodontist just starting out their career. So let's get right into it. So the best file system in endodontics is actually the one that works best in your hand, okay? Because you know, after a lot of trial and error, you're gonna try a bunch of different file systems. You're gonna, you know, do a lot of different techniques, but the one that's gonna be the best is the one that's gonna produce the most consistent result for you in your root canals, but also the one that you're most comfortable with in your hand. And you're gonna feel this, you know, some files you're gonna start using and then you're gonna break them. Some files will unwind more in your hands. Some files will, you know, not really like do much, okay? So you wanna make sure that one, you're trying a lot of them out. You do a lot of root canals with them. And then you're also, you know, giving them a good, like solid try. Like don't just try it once and then quit and think, okay, that's it. You know, I'm never gonna use that file again or try it once, it broke and I'm never gonna use that file again. So try them many times, do a lot of root canals with them. And then, you know, from there kind of figure out, okay, this is the best file that's giving me the most consistent result and that you know i'm breaking the lease i'm having the least iatrogenic accidents and that's really the best file for you let's talk about what i'm currently using so what i'm currently using is actually the etch endo uh v7 file okay i've been using this file for about four years now three to four years now um this file i really love because you know, before it breaks, it's gonna unwind. And that's, when I take it out of the canal, I always look at my files under the microscope to see, look at the tip, just kind of like inspect the whole file. If I see that there is any unwinding, then I'm gonna throw it out, okay? So this file does that for me. I also feel like I can push this file a little bit more and it will really get me to that working length. So in my hand, it just feels very natural, okay? So I've been using this for a little while. Um, this is for my main cleaning and shaping, but I also use an orifice opener, which is right here. This one is, I've used many throughout the years, but this one is specifically from uh, Plan B. And I really like it because it's a little bit bendable, okay? But at the same time, it's really stiff. So I like that because it kind of, I can bend it a little bit if I'm trying to get into that you know, usually like a mesiobuccal canal on a um, lower mandibular, but it's also pretty stiff so that it will actually remove a lot of tooth structure in the corollan aspect. And then one file that I love, love, love for retreatment is the XB um, Shaper from Brassler. So this file is amazing when you're trying to do a retreatment because it, the way that it rotates it kind of scrapes the entire wall and so you're getting all of that got to perch out and it actually kind of winds into the file and just comes right out you see it out of the canal so love this one for retreatment i'm going to give like a little side note and kind of like a hats off to the the 2506 um edge endo file uh, i love this one for retreatment because it's a little bit thicker it's a little bit stiffer so it actually pushes um, and kind of goes through the gutta percha so much better. And then I go in with the XP Shaper. There's one file that I'm trying out right now that I'm really liking, and this is gonna be the Apical Shaper by Zark. And right now, Avalon Biomed is the one that's selling it, okay? Um, I got to try it because one of the reps um, gave me a sample, and I've been really loving this file, actually. Um, it bends really well, so it really holds its structure um, when you're trying to get into those like really tight, you know, limited opening, uh, patient has limited opening and trying to get into those mesiobuccal canals, this, this one does really well. Um, it also really gets that debris out of the wall. So the canal, which is nice, it really cleans and shapes. And then it actually, um, it does really well in terms of, you know, usage. You can use it kind of don't tell anybody, but <laughs> you can use it multiple times um, without it really unwinding much or breaking. So I've had a really good 
um, success with this one. It kind of reminds me of a Vortex Blue combined with the B7 uh, from Edgeendo. Lastly, I'm gonna give you some tips on finding the right file system. Where do you even get the files? Like, do you have to buy all of them and try all of them? And so the best way is to really contact a rep, okay? If you're interested in, in working with a file, contact the rep and really, um, they will always give you samples, okay? That's one. But definitely read the instructions on how to use the file really well you know what is the rpm what is the torque use the right settings for the file because that's going to make a huge difference in terms of how you're using the file how it feels in your hand how it feels in the canal and it really will help you uh, determine whether or not you like that file um, another great way to get some free files is to actually go to different conventions there's always um, different companies there trying to help you try them out and they're always giving them out for free or not always but most of the time and they want you to, they want you to try the file so that's a great way to find uh, new systems try different files out um, and, and just really be able to get your hands on a lot of different files once you get your hands on these files you want to make sure you're trying them out like I said not for, uh, for one treatment and then it breaks and you never tried it again try them out for several treatments on different patients and maybe for a few months before you decide okay this is the file for me sometimes you'll try a file maybe like you know a week or two and you'll say no this is definitely definitely not it that's fine okay but if you're unsure just give it a little bit more time and see if you know if, if after a few months you're like okay this is this is definitely not it um i prefer this other one then you know now you have your answer but give it some time you really won't know if you really if you like the file unless you gave it a nice honest try so give it a few patients give it a few months and then make sure you're using the right settings before deciding okay i hope this video helped you try to figure out what you want to use like i said the best file is what works best in your hand so try a bunch of different ones out if you like the content like this and you want to keep watching more, I'm going to be putting out a lot more YouTube videos like this. So please subscribe and follow me for more.